everyone, and welcome to our very first live awards presentation of the 42nd International Juried Exhibition, being brought to you by the Board of Directors, committees, and made possible by the donating members and sponsors of the Pennsylvania Watercolor Society. The slideshow of this presentation today and video was created by Pam Wenger, our PWS Member Show Coordinator, and the awards will be presented by Janine Swartz, the jury show chairperson, vice president, and coordinator of the exhibit. Thank you both for all you've done to make this a very successful and beautiful show. We hope by having this live award slideshow a ceremony to everyone, you will somehow know the value we have in your continued support and membership with BWS. My thanks goes to our webmaster, Nick Moeller, who was key in the creation of the online album at pawcs.com by putting all the accepted paintings into the album and providing any person the ability to securely purchase a painting that is listed for sale. The show is open and available for anyone to see, so please share the PWS album link to your friends and family. Sales are encouraged. A very special recognition goes to my awards committee of Gay Dunn and to Helen Canfield for their dedication and commitment in obtaining and record keeping of the numerous material award sponsors received for this show. It was a monumental task. Because of their success with this year's sponsors, they have helped surpass last year's prize total. Thank you, Helen and Gay, for all you've done and continue to do as committee volunteers and in your membership with PWS. I commend you in all your efforts on this special occasion. I am very grateful to you. This year, the PWS Board of Directors wanted to personally share the 25 awarded paintings chosen by Ted Nuttall from the initial selections of entries made by Lana Privatera. You will hear Mr. Nuttall's comments about the top five prize award winners. And now, I introduce to you Janine Swartz, PWS Vice President and Jury Show Chairperson who will present the awards. Thank you, Linda, and congratulations to everyone selected for the Pennsylvania Watercolor Society 42nd Annual International Juried Exhibit. The exhibit is truly stunning, and I hope you enjoy. Let me share a few statistics with you. We had a really great year, a really great turnout. 353 artists from 37 states and 17 countries submitted a total of 635 images for consideration. We appreciate the time and careful consideration of our jury. Juror of selection, Lana Privatera, had the difficult task of selecting just 106 works for the exhibit. Juror of Awards, Ted Nuttall, had an equally difficult task in choosing 25 to receive awards. Visit our website, pawcs.com, uh, to view the show in a virtual format. In addition to the 25 awards being presented today, I want to welcome our four new signature members, Elizabeth Burren, Jane E. Jones, Shirley Kleppe, and Annie Matzik. Congratulations. Signature membership is offered to regular members in good standing who have been accepted into two Pennsylvania Watercolor Society juried exhibitions within an eight-year period. Upon acceptance, the member receives a special PWS pin, a certificate, and is entitled to use the signature initials PWS after their name. Thank you to everyone who had a hand in making the exhibit possible with special thanks to PWS President Linda R. Young, membership chair Annie Matzik, members online show chair Pam Wenger, publicity Mona Fry, webmaster Nick Moeller, and all of those who made a financial contribution toward the catalog printing. And a very special thank you to our awards co-chairs, Helen Canfield and Gay Dunn, whose efforts brought the total value of our awards to $13,735. So yeah, once again, congratulations to everyone in the show. And let's get started by sharing a statement from our juror of selection, Lana Privatera. Quote, once again, the Pennsylvania Watercolor Society will present a great exhibit this fall. 
It was quite an arduous job for me to select just 106 pieces from among the 635 original artworks entered this year. So many wonderful paintings to choose from. We received a large number of sensational figure and portrait entries, as well as very creative abstracts, animal portraits, still lifes, architectural themes, and some gorgeous landscapes and florals. The overall quality of work submitted was very high. So in the end, I handpicked only the pieces that scored higher when I applied my usual three-point criteria. Those paintings have a unique or well-balanced design, are the most skillfully painted, and also tell a compelling story. Many congratulations to all the artists whose extraordinary work will be in the show this year." End quote. Now let's move on to the awards with a video statement from our juror of awards, Ted Nuttall. I just wanna say how much I appreciate the opportunity to jury your show. And, um, and I wanna say congratulations to Lana for um, picking such a good show. I really think it's one of the best um, so the best exhibitions that I've ever juried as far as all of the paintings that were selected being really uh, well done. Um, and then I wanted to say that although I'm primarily a figurative and portrait painter, I don't necessarily always pick uh, or I, I don't necessarily always gravitate to figurative or portrait paintings. Um, I like good landscapes, I like still lifes, I like abstract paintings, I like, I like really good work. Having said that, um, I picked uh, several figurative paintings that I thought were just really, really outstanding as um, some of the top award winners. And, um, you know, primarily because they just fit all the criteria that I look for when I'm during a show. Um, composition, um, technical ability, um, emotion and expression and things like that. And um, all of the paintings that I selected for the show um, were based on those criteria. And I thought uh, uh, the ones that I selected for awards all fit those criteria. And I thought they were really wonderful. All right, let's move on now to the awards beginning with position number 25. This is the Blick Art Materials Award, goes to Terry Morse, Westchester, Pennsylvania, USA. The title is Defiant, the medium watercolor batik. The height is 10 inches and the width 14 inches. The price is $525. Congratulations, Terry. Number four, M. Graham and Company Award goes to Z. Fung, Radford, Virginia. The title is Morning Creek, the medium watercolor. Height is 40 inches, width 32, and the price $2,800. Congratulations, Z. Number 23, the H. K. Holbein and Armadillo Art and Craft Award goes to Eleonora Escalante from San, San Salvador, El Salvador. The title is Expecting Grace, the medium watercolor. Height is 15 inches, width 22, and the price is $3,500. Congratulations, uh, Eleonora. Number two, 22 is the Chief Joe's Art Stuff in Airfloat Systems LLC Award. It goes to Shanti Kumar of Englewood, Colorado. The title is Golden Harvest, the medium watercolor, height 14 inches with 18 and a half inches. The price is $1,500. Congratulations, Shanti. Number 21 is the Sally Lovell Friend of PWS in memory of Roger W. Anliker, the American Frame JJC Industries, LLC Daniel Smith, Silver Brush Limited, and Golden Artist Colors Inc. Award. This goes to Kristen Herzog of Estero, Florida. The title is Swing One, 
the medium acrylic and watercolor on paper, height 22 inches, width 30, and price $1,500. Congratulations, Kristen. Number 20, Anna Bellinger, friend of PWS, Dr. P.H. Martins, Chroma Inc., Princeton Artist Brush Company, and Blick Art Materials Award goes to Stephen Zhang, Plano, Texas. The title is Morning Market, the medium watercolor on paper. Height is 57 inches with 46 and a half, and the price $4,200. Congratulations, Stephen. Number 19, the Ginny Crawford friend of PWS, Dr. P.H. Martins, Legion Watercolor Paper and Princeton Artist Brush Company Award goes to Linda Thomas of Trumbull, Connecticut. The title is Spring Jubilee. The medium is watercolor on paper, height 20 inches with 30, and the price is $5,000. Congratulations, Linda. Number 18, the Ruth Anna Young Memorial Award, sponsored by Linda Young and John Pittman. This goes to Jian Zhang Sun of Tai Yuan, Shangzi, China. The title, Homes 25, medium watercolor, height 16 inches, and the width 24. The price is $2,600. Congratulations, Jian Gang. Number 17, the Walker Family Outstanding Watercolor Award goes to Lois Wolford of Towson, Maryland. The title is Breakfast Alone, the medium watercolor, height 22 inches, width 30, and the price $1,900. Congratulations, Lois. Number 16, Philadelphia Watercolor Society Award goes to Dina Shepard, Mission Viejo, California. The title is Crossed Leaves, the medium watercolor on paper, height 14 and a half inches, width 21 and a half, and the price $650. Congratulations, Dana. Number 15, National Watercolor Society Award. It goes to Cheryl Schlenker of Media PA. The title is Water Flora, the medium acrylic on paper, height is 14 inches, the width 20 inches. This piece is not for sale. Congratulations, Cheryl. Number 14, Baltimore Watercolor Society Award goes to Frank Wengen, Dallas, Pennsylvania. The title, Middle Dory Down. The medium is watercolor, height nine inches, width 27 inches, and the price $1,387. There must be a story behind that price. Congratulations, Frank. Number 13, Carolyn C. Allman, friend of PWS, Princeton Artist Brush Company, and Blick Art Materials goes to Chris Kropinski of Mainville, Ohio. The piece is titled Pears, Cherries, and Stripes, the medium transparent watercolor, Height, 30 inches, width, 22, and the price, $5,000. Congratulations, Chris. Number 12, Ernestine Hoff Memorial, Princeton Artist Brush Company, an artwork gallery and custom framing award goes to Stephen Coleman of Louisville, Kentucky. The title is Orange You Open. The medium watercolor, height, 13 inches, width, 13 inches, and the piece. This is not for sale. Congratulations, Stephen. Number 11, Bernie Tyler, friend of PWS, Art Depot, West Charlton Frame, and Dr. P.S. Martin's award goes to Bonnie Steinsnyder of Brooklyn, New York. The title, Dancing Orchids in the Bamboo Forest. Medium watercolor on paper, the height 28 inches, with 20 and the price $2,000. Congratulations, Bonnie. Number 10 is the Mary Jane Saucer Memorial Award, Blick Art Materials and Creative Catalyst Award. Goes to Alyssa Shea, Northport, New York. 
The title is Closed on Thursday. The medium transparent watercolor height is 10 and a half inches, the width 19 inches, and the piece is not for sale. Congratulations, Alyssa. Number nine, the R. Michaels, uh, the R. Mike Nichols, friend of PWS, in memory of Joan Coffey, Jacqueline L. Powell and Associates, and Hannah Mule Watercolor Paper Award goes to Carol Pickle, Myerstown, Pennsylvania. The title, Across the Pond, medium acrylic, height 16 inches, the width is 12 inches, and the price is $3,600. Congratulations, Carol. Number eight, Mildred Sand Crafts Memorial Award goes to Denny Bond, East Petersburg, Pennsylvania. The title, Alarmed, the medium watercolor, height 18 and a quarter inches, and the width is 27 and three quarter inches, the price $4,500. Congratulations, Denny. Number seven, PWS Board Members Award goes to Ji Guo, St. Augustine, Florida. The title, Flagler College, the medium watercolor, the height 29 inches, the width is 20, and the price $6,500. Congratulations, G. Number six, Free Spirit Watercolor Award in honor of Jeannie Hartman goes to Janice Heverly, Howard, PA. The title, Summer Swans, the medium transparent watercolor, the height 22 inches, the width 30 inches, and the price is $1,250. Congratulations, Janice. Number five is the President's Award. This is a $600 cash award and HK Holbein merchandise. Goes to Jackie Vo, Fort Collins, Colorado. Title, Mule Deer Doe. Medium is watercolor. Height, 12 inches. Width, 12 inches. And the price, $450. Now we have a statement yeah, about I, I this piece. This painting is also very, very powerful. Um, in some ways, kind of straightforward in terms of the subject matter, and yet um, there's um, there's this little uh, twinge of emotion and expression uh, that I think was probably felt by the painter, and then and and then and then the painting was imbued with the feelings and emotions of the painter, because there's just certain there's certain emotion to the face of this deer. Um, I liked the little, the little tilt of the left ear, and the the view not you know not looking straight on at the deer, and it's almost as though this uh, deer sat for a portrait, and uh, there, and and you can feel the emotion of the deer, and you can feel the emotion of the painter. And I thought the background was handled very nicely. Um, I liked the way the negative space was broken up because of the placement of the deer. And again, the tilts of that one ear. And um, so, so I thought this was a very strong painting and uh, really liked it. All right, moving on to number four, fourth place, $800 cash award goes to Ken Call, Northbrook, Illinois. The title is Neverland, medium transparent watercolor. The height 32 inches, the width 24 inches, and the price $3,500. Piece titled Neverland, I think is just really beautiful as well. Um, it, you know, it, it really it really tells that story uh, with these two little kids playing in the forest and stuff. And it's, um, I, I love the, um, his interpretation of both the figures and the, and the trees and the setting and everything. Again, very, uh, very painterly and loose and uh, almost impressionistic. And, um, and I think compositionally, it's really strong. And I think uh, his use of light is just really powerful. And um, yeah, I just thought this was a really um, spectacular painting. 
And uh, Ken is with us this afternoon. Ken, would you like to say a few words? Sure, no, no problem. Um, for, I want to thank everyone at uh, PWS for uh, um, putting on the show. I, I'm uh, looking forward to the day when we can actually do all this uh, live again, but uh, I'm, that'll be coming soon, I hope. Um, especially want to uh, thank uh, Lana for choosing my painting and uh, Ted for such nice thoughts on the award. It's, uh, it's always a great honor to get an award in any show. Um, just a little bit about the painting. It's, uh, um, I had, uh, this is uh, uh, my nephew and niece. They were ready-made models for me to use, and I just had a, a thought of having some kids walking along something. But of course, they were just on a two by four in their backyard at the time. So I wanted to put them in some locale that was a bit more exotic. And uh, I waited a few months, and uh, my wife and I were in Olympic National Park. And uh, I was looking specifically for a place to uh, put the I had the actual photo with me and I was looking for places and I saw this scene there and I took a picture of it and several other photos. And when I got home, I realized that I had a, a bright girl with a bright pink dress and a forest of all green. And I thought that might uh, look a bit weird. So what I did was I took my photo and I put it in Photoshop and I changed the tint until I saw a lot of pink. Um, and mostly where the, the medium of highlights were. And it, of course it changed all the greens to more of a turquoise. So then it's uh, all my primary colors are a bit off uh, to, the, to the side of what they normally would be. So I only use like four different colors and uh, I want, specifically want to do that to keep the cohesion of the colors and along with a, a strong design to uh, come, up with a, come up with this painting. So that's the story behind this painting. Great, thank you for sharing and congratulations again on your award. Oh, thank you so much. Number three, third place is a $1,000 cash award goes to Irina Roman of Situate, Massachusetts. The title is Wayne, the medium transparent watercolor. The height is 32 inches with 22 inches. The price is $8,000. And I believe um, we're going to hear from Ted. This uh, this painting titled Wayne, um, I think, is a really really powerful painting. It's uh, highly representational, very um, almost photorealistic, but just powerful. I think, um, uh, obviously, in terms of technique and her mastery at being able to handle the medium, um, I think the light is very very powerful. And then I think his expression, not, I think his expression, not only uh, it, in the painting, his expression is really powerful, but I think it indicates that, that the um, painter was also very involved emotionally in this in order to capture the expression and the power in this painting. So, um, yeah, I just thought it was a very powerful painting in terms of composition, light, expression, and, uh, and the strength of her, uh, the strength of the rendering of the painting. And I believe Irina is with us this afternoon. Irina, would you like to share a few words? Absolutely. First, I want to say thanks to everybody. This is such a lovely idea having this presentation and it's really appreciated. Uh, like Ken was just saying, uh, we're not able to be in person yet. So um, I just think it was just, um, you went all out and thank you for doing that. And thanks also to Lana and Ted um, for this great honor. It's very humbling and I appreciate being recognized. Um, when I was in graduate school many years ago, I was given this piece of advice, which was find subject matter that you love and do a body of work. And that really resonated with me. And I have really taken that advice to heart. Uh, Wayne is actually number 13 in an ongoing series of narrative portraits of um, that challenge a stereotypical uh, views of aging and features people over the age of 65 who are really pushing the boundaries of what might be thought of as a typical retirement. Um, I love delving into a uh, topic because the possibilities are endless, but ultimately my goal is to not just capture a likeness, but to expose the intangible. 
Thank you for sharing and congratulations again on your award. Thank you. Number two, second place is a $1,250 cash award. This goes to Christine Misensik Bunn from uh, Fredericktown, Ohio. The title is In the Moment, the medium transparent watercolor. The height is 21 inches with 20 inches and the price $4,800. Congratulations, Christine. Okay, this painting uh, is titled In the Moment and I, I just think it's exactly that. It just really captures a really expressive uh, and emotional moment that I think is wonderful. Um, and I think all the things about this painting work that work on the previous one, uh, the composition is really, really nice. Um, there's lots of expression and emotion. I mean, just, you know, a lot of feeling. Um, I like the way the painting was interpreted. I like the looseness of it and um, how painterly it looks. And I, I really actually enjoy that unfinished portion at the bottom. Um, and, and then uh, obviously she knows she's a good painter and knows what she's doing is just technically it's painted very nicely. And um, so, yeah, so I thought this kind of covered the gamut as well in terms of things that I look for in a, in a painting. Um, Say something about your painting. I, I, it, was, it was all about the composition. That is my daughter. And um, it was at my, my son's 50th birthday. And um, I just kept taking pictures because she just hates any painting I've ever done of her. So um, I decided, no, she's always laughing and, 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 and always that's her. And so I caught it. <laughs> and um, so as somebody had said, and I forget who, it was, Re it was Irina, I think, you know, like uh, you have to love what you're doing in that, and certainly in that moment. And, and I did, I just kept on saying, well, you're gonna like this one. And, you know, <laughs> um, it was through trial and error. There were mistakes. However, you know, you have to make the most of your mistakes anyway. So um, um, I loved doing it. It was, it was a joy. So at any rate, I'm happy that, um, that Ted liked it. It's very nice. And number one, first place is a $1,750 cash award. And this goes to He Ping Li of Kunming, Yunnan, China. The title is Mother, the medium watercolor, the height 28.8 inches, the width 14 and a half inches, and the piece is not for sale. Congratulations, He Ping. Um, this beautiful painting entitled Mother um, really grabbed my attention right away for a number of reasons. Um, I really uh, thought the composition was very nice um, and I'll, I'll expound on that here in a second, but uh, I also thought it had lots of emotion and expression and um, uh, obviously technically uh, rendered very well and um, interpreted very nicely. And one of the things that uh, drew me to this is the placement of color in the, um, you know, in the, over, the, the overall division of space and color in the painting where um, most of the color is around the face and then in the hands and then a little bit of color in the chair. And I thought that really contributed a lot to the um, composition. And then I was intrigued by the finished nature of the face and the scarf and then the hands and details in the chair and then how the uh, coat or jacket that she's wearing was a little more minimal and it, it, uh, it gave me the impression that the artist did that on purpose for the reason that I stated to kind of um, um, exagger exaggerate the composition and, and bring attention to the important parts of the painting. I, I just thought it was very um, full. It was full of expression and emotion, and uh, I thought it was a really moving painting. Good 
to all who are seeing this presentation today. Our society is very proud to partner with these sponsors and donors who have contributed awards to the, this year's winners. We are all very grateful to you. Take a moment, please, to look at the list of sponsors shown here. Please remember to say thank you to them in a personal note if you've won an award or in an email of gratitude, a message of gratitude for their contribution to the success of this ex exhibition. With their valuable sponsorship, the total prizes have surpassed last year's prizes. Pennsylvania Watercolor Society wants to let them all realize the importance of their continuing support to our major art events in the future. Let's take a look at those. Don't mind me, I'm trying to find my way around here. This next one is for the Friends of PWS Award. How do you become a friend of PWS Award? PWS? But you already are our friends, but here's another way that you can be a friend of PWS. It was also support through the support of the following members or signature artists of Pennsylvania Watercolor Society who donated to the Friends of PWS Awards. To be a friend of PWS, the first $100 donated toward an award, Pennsylvania Watercolor Society matches the first $100. So to you, we thank all the contributors listed below to the Friends of PWS Awards. And we thank you very much for your support of this exhibition. And I think, I can figure this out here, stretch this out a minute. And I wanna thank everybody that has been a part of this. So thank you for everybody for showing up today and for helping make this first time awards presentation great for everybody and for future visitors to our YouTube channel. This concludes the awards pre presentation for this 42nd annual juried exhibition. We hope to see you and your artistic creations in 2022, and hopefully it will be an in-person show, which is gonna be great to be able to see everyone's faces again. God bless you all, and thanks for watching.